every time I leave home, come back. My so-called friend go away, tell me, Bobby Rush, I saw your woman doing whatever while you was gone. I just said, hold it. If they really were my friend, they would be talking about what she did. They would tell her, don't do me like that. I heard it. A lady said that lady, my husband gave me about $150 this week. Another lady said, no, that was my husband. Thank you. He gave me about $150. I'd have thrown them back and got a divorce. But the woman was saying that when I made money, I know her. She just wants you to leave, so she move in and get what you got. Look at your friend's face and tell me I told my friends. Hear what I said.
Tennessee, his name Lou Rodriguez, ladies and gentlemen, on guitar. <laughs> on bass from Atlanta, Georgia, been with me for many, many years. How about a hand for our bass man? His name is Mr. Arthur Cooper. <laughs> gentlemen, in the back on the keyboard, been with me for 20 something odd years. His name is Joe Banks. How about a hand for Joe Banks on keyboard? <laughs> Gentlemen to my right, been with me 25 years or so. All the way from Memphis, Tennessee. His name is Mr. Kenny Ray. Give him a hand. A gentleman on drum, been with me 38 years. His name is Bruce Howard from Jackson, Mississippi. Give him a hand. Let me, let me tell you a little something about me for now. I've been recording this year for 67 years. I have 394 records. I left my little hometown, myself in Muddy Waters and Abba King, Chuck Berry, Bunch of the guys like that who no longer with us no more. But I left my home 1947. Went to Pine Bluff, Arkansas. 1951, I moved to Chicago. I lived in Chicago almost 50 years. From that time to this time, I've been recording for 60 some odd years. I don't claim to be a young boy, but I am blessed. November the 10th, I'm 86 years old. Back in 1951, when I first started, I wasn't quite as funky as I am now. I sound more like this. <laughs> Just to told my mama the day I was born. <laughs> so you got a boy child here. Make women hard burn. He gonna play the blues. Make women jump and shout. See what?
one thing, y'all, in this world I know. I can take 35 women and line them up in a line. I can make love to my all in about I've been fifteen. Chopping cotton, picking cotton, working on the farm with my daddy who was a farmer. I didn't have any money, didn't have a good band, and we didn't make no money back then. But I had old hot marker look like this. I would, every afternoon I would say, Over 
time, damn near every day. She got no work at two full time jobs. And I work overtime, damn near every day. Hey, brother. Can't you see? I got a rich man woman. Trying to take care of the girl on a homemade page. I had a talk with the late B.B. King. I had a talk with late Ray Charles. I had a talk with Chuck Berry. I had a talk with Little Richard, but he didn't know what the hell I was talking about. I said, I'm gonna put some funk into my blues. B.B. King told me that won't work. I'm a fool to him, it won't work, but when I put the funk into my blues, my blues start to sound like... Me and my brother talking to my brother here, man. We got a little jitty jitty. 
You do it like a fella when you do it like this, it go bang, bang. <laughs> I got an old man by my age over there, ready? Right One with the bald head, that's he by my age. He got a little titty titty. You do it like a fiddle. When you do it like this, it go deep, deep. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, brother. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. You probably, you probably don't like no blues singer, no way. You probably like you probably like them rappers, them old them Snoop Dogg them. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, brother? You all right? the young folks here. Y'all don't like no blues singer, do you? Y'all probably like old Snoop Dogg them. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I got some young folks here. Come here, brother, shake my hand. Me and you. Now, now you young. You young, but let me tell you something. The rapper stole that stuff from me. I was, me and, they stole it from me and Jane Brown. I was rapping for the rapper was born. In fact, I invented rap. If it wasn't for Bobby Rush, it wouldn't be no 50 cent, be a dime a quarter or something. I started the rap game. Let me tell you. First, get a picture, mama, hip, bit, a hopper girl, a bad go, y'all, a two to three, top, well, well, spread around, round, found a, I found a good woman, I got found, but the whole better feeling, mama, how do you feel? Oh, I snap the bra and let the kitty fall out, that is. I'm just talking to my, my, my young folks here. They ain't the one, they ain't the only one stole stuff from me. E. King of the Rock and Roll stole stuff from me. Uh, 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 hold on a minute, look. About 12, 15 days ago. 
It's called Dog Named Bo. Get a little shake down by the bay, not far from New Orleans. I met this pretty woman down there when I'm about 19. She went and told her daddy she wanted to marry me. And I look on her daddy's face, y'all. Then it was a sight to see. He said, Get out of here with you. And don't you come back no more. I wanted to meet her daddy. Like a young man order. But he didn't want no blues singer to get married to his daughter. When I went by the house that day, y'all, he met me at the door. With a brother and sister, Big Bad John, and a dog named Bo. Saying, get out of here with you. And don't you come back no more. Said, get out of here with you. And don't you come back no more. We speak down to get married, y'all. Judge, you do your sign to swear. Take this woman for your lofty wife and not a one night love affair. Before I can open my mouth to say I do, guess who walked through the door? Dead mom, big brother John, and that damn dog named Bo. Said, get out of here with you. And don't you come back no more. I thought that then if I want to get married to the woman, we have to find a way to elope. We decide to go to Las Vegas and get away from her nosy folks. So when we got to Las Vegas, that day we walked in, there were all the kids and all the friends and that doggone dog again. So you get out of here with you.
take your picture, stop by and say hello. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Bobby Rush. And you know what? He's going to be around all weekend. So go check out all the workshops. Go look at your program. See where it's going to be. There's going to be some magic being made on various stages around uh, Music Fest all weekend. Like I say, he's all going to be over at the CD 10 signing CD.